Hello, I'm Chris Stout. I'm an endovascular and vascular surgeon with Ozark Regional Vein and Artery Center. And today we're gonna to talk about how to improve poor circulation. Poor circulation basically comes over time from different risk factors we've discussed in another video, so please watch that. And once you uh, develop this poor circulation, um, it's uh, something that's very hard to reverse. And there's, there's some things that you can do to help this poor circulation because it's blockages uh, that develop. But the things that you need to do are aimed at getting blood through the blockage more efficiently or getting your artery to grow a little bit bigger. Conservative measures are things that we can do as physicians and give advice um, to our patients. And uh, there are things that our patients can do at home. And some of them are as easy as walking and walking programs. Now, we know from studies that walking can improve your quality of life and it can improve your distance walked. Medicare actually has an approved peripheral artery disease um, rehab, kind of like a cardiac rehab, but it's more for PAD, um, like a phase two type of rehab. And if you have peripheral artery disease, uh, then we can work work on getting you a referral to do a supervised program where they'll discuss exercise and diet and, and uh, walk you through these in a supervised fashion. If you exhausted everything, or if you have really bad pain that's due to severe blockage in your legs, or if you have a sore gangrene or something worse like that, those are the times when we really need to jump on this. And we don't want you to lose a toe or part of a foot or you know, God forbid, part of your leg at the knee. Um, those are the last things we want. And here at Ozark Regional Vein and Artery Center, we're going to be here. We're going to be your peripheral artery disease or PAD warrior. And one of the things that we're going to do is an angiogram where we go in through your groin through a small catheter. We use wires and balloons and we're going to try to open up these blockages that we talked about that, you know, initially we were trying to get the blood to go through them or get the artery to grow. Well, if you got something more severe, we need to fix those blockages and push it to the side. And we're going to do angioplasty or some type of atherectomy, aka rotorooter, um, or a stent procedure in order to get that artery opened up for you so we can get blood down to your leg so it can heal up and not hurt. So if you're experiencing pain in your foot, especially when it's elevated at night when you're sleeping, um, pain when you walk, an ulcer, a sore, a gangrene, or somebody tells you you need your leg amputated, please, please give us a call at Ozark Regional Vein and Artery Center. Let me evaluate you and let us see if there's something that we can do to save you from major, major life changes.